championship series seems to be how many games will it take L.A. to win it. Stu Nahan has highlights and interviews. Lakers dominated game four as they did game three. And, you know, they're only one break away from having this thing all even. Coaches have to be a little more rational than the players, don't they? I agree with Nixon. It'll be impossible for Philly to win it at this point. In keeping with their goal of recruiting local players, the YVC basketball team has signed a couple. Mark Villegas out of Wapato and Dean Pratt, who played for Ellensburg a couple of years ago, will both be playing for the Indians next year. With those two additions, uh, they're going to be very strong at the guard position next year. In baseball, the Cubs and Giants opened up a three-game homestand in Wrigley Field this afternoon. The Giants wasted little time in scoring. Cub pitcher Fergie Jenkins hit Joe Morgan with his first pitch of the game. Morgan took his base, then Chili Davis nailed a 3-2 pitch over the right field fence. Giants lead 2-0. In the bottom half of the first, San Francisco pitcher Mike Chris walked in a run. It was a 2-1 ball game. After that, uh, after the first inning, the Giants then added two more runs in the third off the bat of Milton May. May's triple the right field score. Jack Clark, San Francisco, led the Cubs 4-1 after three. Giants then went on to win it 4-3, fifth straight loss for the Cubs. The Mariners are in Detroit tonight, beginning a nine-game road stand. In the sixth inning, M's lead at one to nothing. I just got informed that the no-hitter for uh, Jim Beatty uh, just got erased by a single in the sixth inning. The one lone run for the Mariners was a home run by Todd Cruz in the fifth. Tomorrow at 11:15, uh, the Mariners will play their first game on national TV this season. Quite a coincidence. Gaylord Perry will be on the mound for it. Great way NBC worked that out, wasn't it? You can watch it here on KNDO at 11:15 tomorrow. You know, I've never seen a gymnastics tournament outside, and either has Yakima. Their first ever will be held tomorrow at Franklin School. It's the Apple Open. Uh, seven of the top teams in the Northwest will be competing, along with our own Central Washington School of Gymnastics. They're going to do it out on the football field, believe it or not, 2:30 tomorrow afternoon. Super softball star Eddie Fainer was in Yakima yesterday, put on a great show at YBC's Parker Field. Rather humble the way he comes out there, isn't it? I'll tell you, Eddie was so good that he warms up in black and white while letting the other team work out in color, color believe it or not. The other team last night was Super Pitch <laughs> All-Stars. They couldn't stop Eddie. The King in this court won 3-0. The All-Stars got six hits off him in a four-and-a-half inning exhibition game. Not too bad. At 57 years old, Eddie says he's going to keep on playing as long as people keep watching it. I'm sure they will for quite a while. That's a look at sports. We'll have more news for you right after this.